We're here in Dripping Springs, Texas, talking to Kairos Zaman with Z-Works Design Build. Good morning, Zaman, good to see you. Good morning, Paul. Thank you for good having us you. out here. It was a beautiful, beautiful project. Absolutely. Now, I understand you've, uh, you're traditionally trained as an architect, is that right? I am an architect. Um, I graduated from University of Texas back in 1992, and uh, uh, that's when the journey began. Wow, exciting. So how did you get into to the building side of that? Oh, well, this journey started when I was uh, looking to build a home for my own family. And uh, uh, without finding any other options, I was always interested in alternative building. So um, ICF at that time was very unknown product. and But it really appealed to me because of the way it was uh, built and the uh, way it was made. So I investigated a bit more and uh, built my first house out of ICF. That's when so, so how did you even find insulated concrete forms to begin with? Uh, that was a challenge. Um, only place in the country, um, I believe at the time, were ICF were being made uh, was in California. Um, so after doing a little bit of research, I found that uh, it is possible to um, get the ICF home that I wanted to build mm -hmm. uh, with a little bit more uh, sweat labor than I uh, originally intended. Right. So a lot of your move to design build was uh, obviously to experiment yourself and, and you get to be your own guinea pig and learn by, by doing. And t tell me what, how your kind of your philosophy of design and build kind of evolved from that. Well, uh, that's a very good point. Uh, I, when the when I started this uh, project of my my own home, uh, we really wanted to make something that's that fits into the land mm -hmm. and works with the immediate environment. Um, so everything ever since we have done uh, had more to do with uh, how it ties in with the land. Uh, we try to incorporate rainwater collection systems, sure. solar solar installations as part of the design. So uh, we l look at a holistic picture of the design before we start start building. Right. So, so, you, you, so you have a little bit of uh, solar, you've got water. Uh, obviously, water collection here in Texas is huge. Water conservation is a big, big issue, especially when you're building outside of incorporated areas. You, absolutely. Your options get fewer and fewer. Absolutely. This, uh, this is a perfect example of where we are. In this particular neighborhood, we have only two options of getting water. Uh, one is to drill a well about 700 feet down, or you can harvest your own rainwater. And um, obviously we opted for the rainwater system just because of the way uh, rainwater feels as opposed to well water in terms of uh, its water quality. Perfect water quality. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, t so tell me a little bit about your experience. Now you've been doing uh, ICF now, I guess, for almost- For about 20 years 20 now. 20 years now. So My you're, you, you're almost learning how to do this. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. So, We're learning every single project. Yeah. We learn a bit more. But I think what, what we have found out over the years, when we started, no one really even uh, wanted to deal with the, with the new materials in terms of subcontractors. So we couldn't yeah. find yeah. Um, subs to deal with the finishes, um, electrical, mechanical, um, mechanical is a big challenge um, because of the nature of these ICF. Um, it's highly energy efficient structure. Right. So the mechanical system has to compensate for that yeah. and allow for that to you happen. You can't order just out of a catalog. You really have to kind of understand what the building is doing and absolutely and, and plan around that and design around that. Yes, you have to design around that and you have to do your proper manual J calculations to right. get the right sizing and that sizing becomes very important when you are actually installing the system to make it work with the right. wall systems. So w one of the questions that, that always comes up when you look at alternative building um, practices is cost. Uh, can you speak to kind of your experience over the years, really uh, being able to see a lot of projects, a lot of budgets, really where does it net out from a cost standpoint? What I have found out that cost of the ICF wall systems really 
play hand in hand with conventional type of framing systems. Um, what I mean by that is there's not a big difference in the cost uh, by the time you finish the complete ICF wall system. Right. Uh, that's uh, mainly because of the layering effect that goes into conventional framing system right. versus the monolithic type of ICF that allows you to finish directly on the right. blocks. Fewer materials, fewer trays, fewer less trades. labor to, to get it done. So a lot, of, a lot of the benefit is just in the, uh, the simplicity of the, of, the, um, of the wall assembly itself. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And not to mention the fact that the maintenance of these type of wall system is really uh, considerably less than right. your stick frame. You eliminate the cavity, you eliminate things that can decompose over time, uh, just a lot more resilient over time. That is correct. That yeah. is correct. What, one other prejudice I think people too, have too, when you think of, of block or, or concrete construction, is they think that it completely limits your palette from a design perspective. How do you answer that question? Uh, I, I think that's, uh, um, that's completely a false uh, um, statement or not really looking into the opportunities that uh, ICF presents. Um, for example, uh, you can finish an ICF block with a very conventional material like brick mm -hmm. or, right. or native stone in this area, yeah. um, or even wood siding. Right. If, uh, one of the examples is uh, this building right here. Right. We're standing in front of uh, an ICF building that's finished with several different types of uh, pallets. So I think uh, if you look outside the box, right. if you look beyond what the possibilities are, uh, ICF really can be finished with any type of finishes that you like. Yeah, absolutely. And this, so this is a this project it's, itself is a is a great testament. Uh, what what are the couple things that really stand out um, as far as what the owners wanted on this project that stood out to you? Well, uh, one of the goals of this project was obviously trying to incorporate the rainwater system right. into the into the design. Uh, originally, we had a cistern that was apart from the building that was standalone water cistern, 20,000 gallons. Yeah, that's and not a small th structure right that's there. A, that's a pretty uh, big uh, impediment in your views right. uh, if you're looking out in the beautiful countryside. Right. And you uh, see a lot of that here in Central Texas. You do, and done right, it, uh, it can complement the project. Sure. Um, but here we, we felt that the uh, uh, lay of the land was such that it allowed us to incorporate, integrate the rainwater system within the uh, building envelope. And is there a benefit to doing that? I mean, from a, from a performance standpoint? A performance standpoint, it is um, one of the unexpected benefits of doing um, rainwater system within your structure is uh, the thermal quality of it. Um, right. Basically, you have oh, so you uh, have a big thermal mass. You have, you have a twenty thousand gallons of water underneath your a living space. Uh, that's holding, exactly holding energy. Yeah. That is correct. So that thermal mass allows you to mitigate your temperature swings inside the home right. um, quite a bit. It's like coasting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> thermal coasting. Thermal coasting. That's a good word. I'll yeah. use that if you. <laughs> absolutely. I've I've stolen it too. So you're you're welcome to it. Oh, thank you, Zaman. I appreciate you having us out here at this project. Thank you very much, Paul. Stay tuned for more episodes of Better Walls, Better Buildings. If you want more information about Baltex wall systems, go to BaltexSystems.com or look at the show notes for more information about Z-Works Design Build.